Welcome to the Speaker Company's In The Box series, where we take a close-up look at what's inside the box of the Speaker Company's quality speaker products. The Speaker Company offers quality speakers at half the price you'd expect to pay, or twice the value for your money. Today, we'll take a look at the Speaker Company's IDV1 iPod Dock. Like all of the Speaker Company's products, the IDV1 comes in a sturdy, plain brown box with the Speaker Company's logo and product information on the outside. Opening the package, You'll find the outer packing, along with a remote control and a package that includes both a power cord and a 3.5mm cable. You should use this cable to connect a non-iPod music source, such as another MP3 player, a PC, or a TV. More information on these cables in a little bit. Oh, by the way, don't forget to keep the packaging in case you need to send the unit back for any reason. If we remove the top packing, we find the IDV1 itself and the IDV1 manual. Taking the unit out of its protective sleeve, the first thing we notice is how compact it is and the simple lines complement, that are complemented by the beautiful high gloss finish. The IDV1 is available in either black or white. If we look at the front of the unit, we see the iPod connector and the adjustment dial that allows any size iPod to gently rest against it without causing stress to the connector on the IDV1 or the iPod itself. On the top of the unit, you'll see the very simple on-off button and the volume controls that help make this a very easy to use iPod dock. If you turn the unit around, you'll notice it has a built-in handle which is very handy for removing this compact unit from room to room if you wish. You'll also notice that the IDV1 can be easily mounted on a wall, freeing up valuable counter or desk space. This design greatly increases the placement flexibility. Looking further on the back, you'll see a base port. This is what helps deliver the IDV1's big sound from such a compact unit. Notice that it points down at an angle, allowing it to still deliver beautiful bass, even if the unit's mounted on a wall. Again, a well thought out design. Also on the rear panel, we find the audio in jack, the USB connector for pass through syncing most iPods, and the video jack. The audio in jack is where the included 3.5mm cable comes in handy. This will allow you to hook up almost any audio source to playback through your IDV1. This would include another MP3 player, a TV with an audio out, or even your PC that can benefit from this beautiful full sound produced by the IDV1. The USB connector allows you to connect your IDV1 directly to a computer with iTunes and sync most iPods when they're docked. Finally, we have the video port. This gives you the option of getting all those TV shows, home movies, feature films, and photos that you have on your video capable iPod and see them on your TV. This is a very nice feature that produces surprisingly good results. You'll love it. Looking at the power cord, you'll notice something's missing, and you'll be happy that it is. The power cord has no ugly and hard to manage wall ward or power brick on it. This makes plugging in your IDV1 and cable management much easier than other units that don't have this feature. But all in all, it comes down to sound quality. With its bash amplifier and expertly tuned bass port, the IDV1 delivers absolutely beautiful sound for a fraction of the price of the leading brands. All this delivered right to your door. Well that's it for what's in the box for today. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we hope to see you on our site soon. Take care.